Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. And in this video, we're going to learn about five powerful widgets that can help you up your game in Flutter UI, and you can also integrate seamless animations in your application. And guess what? It's not even that difficult. Let's start. The Growing Developer. All right, so let's start with an animated container. So for this text, I'm going to use an animated container. And every animated widget in Flutter is going to take a duration. That is for what duration you want the animation to go with, to go through. Yeah. So let's have a const duration of milliseconds 200 for now. Right. And as a child, not as a child, let's have a height property 200 width as 200 and a color let's say teen simple plain old container here let's have an integer here which should be let's say height is 200 and let's also have a width which is 200 and instead of this height and width i'm going to say height as height so this takes a double we change it to double. <clears throat> All right. So still plain old container and the duration doesn't kick in right now. So what this does is, let's say if there is any change in any of the parameter, let's say a color change, a height, width change, it is going to change to that updated value, but in 200 milliseconds or whatever duration we give. So, Let's have a method which says animate. And inside that, we, inside that, we're going to use set state and let's say height. If height is already 200, then change it to let's say 10. Otherwise, change it to 200. Similarly, for width, we'll say if width is equal to 200, then change it to 10. Otherwise, give it a default 200 width. Save this and uh, for this animated container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up with a gesture detector. All right. And on top of it, I'm going to say animate. Simple. And let's see the magic now. So what uh, is expected when I tap on this, I should update the height to 10 and width through 10. Let's see what happened. I tap on it. You can see the container becomes very small. If I tap on it back, it comes back to 200 width and height. You can play along with this uh, duration altogether, let's say 500, and it goes slowly and slowly back. All right. Next in the line is animated opacity. For animated opacity, let's do one thing. I'll remove the duration and I'll change this to normal container. All right. And in inside here, let's have a double opacity by default it is one okay and then i wrap this container with animator opacity it takes a parameter opacity and opacity is our variable so initially it will be one and then uh, every animated widget needs to have a duration so duration is again let's say milliseconds 500 or 400 Okay, and in animated method, in, along with the height and width, let's also change the opacity. So I'll say if the opacity is one initially, then change it to 0 0.5, that is half opacity, otherwise one. Okay, makes sense, pretty simple. So we start the application, tap on it, and it changed height and width. Let's, let's move this and uh let's let's comment this out we don't want this to change we only want the opacity to change restart this tap on it and you can see that the opacity goes from 1 to 0.5 so it faded out if i tap on it again it restores to its original value that is one it's in line as animated scale so instead of animated opacity i'm going to say animated scale it takes a scale property Let's create a scale variable. So I'll say int scale or rather double scale. 
because scale can also have a double value. By default, it should start from zero. And on top of it, what I'm going to do is I'll say scale. If scale is one, if scale is one, then change it to two. So the size should be two x now. Otherwise, give it one. All right. How to start this? Let's tap on it. And you can see that the size changed from one to two x. Okay. This is the two x size. Tap on it again, it goes back to the one x size. Amazing, right? Now, next in the line is animated rotation. All right. So, animated rotation. This takes the value turns. So, turns can be like how many turns you want. Okay. So, let's say turns. Let's have a new value, which will be and double turns by default zero turns and on top of it if turns is zero then i'll say let's change the turn to something like 2.5 makes sense otherwise change it back to zero all right let's do a hot restart and tap on it hell you can see that it turned 2.5 times Tap on it again, comes back. And to see this more clearly, let's increase the duration to let's say five seconds. All right. So now let's tap on it. So in five seconds, it's going to take 2.5 turns. And if I tap back, it comes back to the original value of zero. So how easy was it to create this? Right. Next thing is animated position. Well, I really like this widget. And let's see how we can use this. To use this, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use stack because positioned is used inside stack. We'll create a stack and children. And inside this children, I'm going to use animated position widget. All right. Duration is going to be the same. Duration, milliseconds, let's say 200. And as a child, I'm going to use this container. All right. Container. Container. Let's remove this. Okay. So, what do we have? We have an animated position widget. Child as container. Let's wrap this child with a gesture detector, which on tap should animate. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, in a stack, we can position a widget on top of each other, or we can position where to put that in a stack. So, what we're going to do is let's say we have a double value of left. Right? Like, from, from how many pixels from left we, got, we want to place this widget. So, by default, we're going to say that the widget has to be towards the extreme left, so zero. Okay. And on top of it, my left should change to let's say 200. So if left is zero, uh, zero, then we change it to 200, otherwise zero. Okay, pretty simple. And just like a positioned widget, we have a left, right, top, down. So we're going to use the left parameter and give the left value. All right, makes sense. Uh, let's restart this application. So by default, Initially, our left value is zero, so the widget is placed on the extreme left. If I tap on it, the left value, since it is zero, changes from zero to 200. Let's tap on it. You can see that the widget moved from left to right, yeah? So 200 pixels from left to right. If I tap on it again, it comes back. So those were the five powerful animated widgets in Flutter. You can use them for your particular use case. In fact, there are many more animated widgets that Flutter provides in-house and you don't even need to implement uh, those complex animations using animated controllers, etc. How good was that? If you like this video, if you learned something from this video, please subscribe to this channel as it gives me more motivation to bring you more content like this in the future.